Ah, level 31. Excellent. Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh god damn it. Yeah, you keep doing what you're doing. Nothing going on over here that concerns you. Wait, what? Why, why are there two things? Talk to Olin. Explore the spur. One, two. Okay, so... I'm guessing that's the order I need to do things in. Oh, that's optional. All right, let's talk to Olin first then. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Olin, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes. The farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the spurflints. Best not to think about the previous owners. <sighs> Too late. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. How many Eclipse are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few. Well-armed and armored. Bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. <laughs> we could storm the front gate, Asram style, or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you let me. Hmm. You might end up dying. Let's go. You have my steel. Damn you! All right. That seemed a bit too easy.
Ouais. This has to be where they're holding Olin's family. Bolt it tight. One of the Eclipse must have the key. Right. Who, which one of you has the key? Ah, you. That was easy. My child! Aloy, I owe you three debts deep. Thank the sun! You found us! I found someone who had the courage I hoped for in myself. It's she who deserves your gratitude. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis and his demons. I am honor bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. But the hell? Well. Hmm. I have no idea if this relates to the story or not. I don't know if I should just do that offline. Um, I don't know. So I've got these to do. You know what? Let's have. It. Let's see what this is about. And here we are back here. Right, let's go see what this Hunter's Lodge thing's all about. You can make up your mind which direction it's in, I would be much appreciative. Where are you going? This way. Well, believe it. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Only members and invited guests are allowed in. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three, and I'll let you in. Now off you go. Fair enough. Uh, great run hunting ground. Okay. Oh, yes, I think I've actually attempted this before. I'm not very good at those. So I might. Yeah, if it's an errand, it doesn't sound that important. An ancient suit of armor lies right. right. Let's get back to this one.
But there's no marker for it anywhere. Where the hell was it? Well, I could do this one actually. And then I can get that tall neck out of the way. Alright, let's get that one out of the way actually. I have to try to remember where the uh, power cell one is. I suspect that might have been when I first started playing and I've just forgotten over the years. All right, here we go. Hello again. Explore the cut. Jesus. This reminds me of uh, something out of uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, one of the architects. Solid ice. I'm not getting through here. Yep, confirmed. Confirmed. Not getting through there. Maybe I need a stronger stick. This must be the pass Otor was talking about. With Banuk territory just above. Alright, let's activate this so I uh, can fast travel here later. Not going to explain the, the weird glowiness of them. Just going to accept them as is, are we? Got too much already. Yeah, we can still take some. I like the fact that in this game, the places you have to grab are not that obvious there's not like big yellow markers going here's where to jump it's 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 much more discreet i much prefer that So far, so good. Oh, that must be bloody freezing. This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming off it. Whoa! Oh!
the hell was that? Demonic Scorcher. That really was. Holy shit. Well. I was going to say this water must be freezing, but that definitely warmed me up. There we go. This way? No, this way. The hell is that? Oh, it was you making that noise. The frozen wilds. I think there's frost between my teeth. <laughs> That must be painful. Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Well, you say that. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? Let's get the source of the smoke. Going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Oh, a new campfire. We'll turn that on. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off.
Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Oh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clan back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Somewhere it's come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain, and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location, ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah, 
I heard profit. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm, it's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's drum. Might be worth a shot. But Aratok there. Let's have a chip. I want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. This... Damon, you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here. And stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me. Those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Well, I guess that's it, then. Good. Prefer deeds to words. Right. <laughs> All right. We've got plenty to do here and more bloody side quests. God, this is going to be going on for a while, but for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.